This uh, manifesto is a draft for a better future for our country. It's a blueprint of what Britain could be and a pledge of the difference a Labour government can and will make. Labour will end the cuts in the National Health Service and deliver safe staffing levels and reduce waiting lists. Labour is guaranteeing the triple lock to protect pensioners' incomes. Labour will scrap tuition fees, lifting the debt And that will lift the debt cloud from hundreds of thousands of young people. We make no apology for finding the resources to hire 10,000 new police officers and 3,000 new firefighters. Labour will take our railways back into public ownership and put passengers first. We will take a public stake in the energy sector to keep fuel prices down and ensure a balanced and green energy policy for the future. And we will build over a million new homes. Only Labour has a plan ambitious enough to unleash this country's potential. All this is costed, as the documents accompanying our manifesto make very, very clear. Our revenue-raising plans ensure we can embark on this ambitious programme without jeopardising our national finances. We're asking the better off and the big corporations to pay a little bit more. And of course, to stop dodging their tax obligations in the first place. The Prime Minister will disagree, of course. So I say to her today in the most polite and friendly way possible, come out of hiding and let's have a debate. Our proposals are of hope for the many all over this country. And I'm very proud to present our manifesto for the many, not the few.